So this is a Takeo SR504 four zone uh, relay panel. If you want to install a modern thermostat like Honeywell of some sort, nothing uh, fancy but some programmable thermostat. In this board and similar boards, take a boards, there's only two wires that you do that control these pumps. Okay? So if you have a thermostat that was old and only has two wires and now you bought a new thermostat that has like seven, eight different connections, I'll show you exactly what you need. Just remember red and white, R and W, okay? one zone, two zone, three zone, four zone on this one of these boards and it's pretty much the same for most of these zoning panels uh, that are you know d indirectly from the thermostat to the relay to fire up the the pumps okay this is not really for a zone valve this is for zone pumps if you have each zone with um, what do you call it? Each zone is run by a pump instead of a zone valve. Then this is what you would be doing, okay? So from the thermostat, the wire will red wire will go to the left. Right wire would go to the the um, out. The white wire would go to the right side per zone, okay? And let's go look at the thermostat. This particular thermostat is a Honeywell. RTH221B and this is what it looks like right on the wall okay and and it has this many connections in the back B O G Y W not used R and R C okay so you see there's like a little jumper cable make sure you remove that you put the W which is the white wire put it in the W and then the red one will go to the R, okay, sometimes it's, it's labeled in some of the thermostats as RH. That's where it go. Remove the jumper cable. And then there's a setting in here that is um, uh, uh, five, number five setting. And if you read this, it, it the manual in one of the pages says if you have a boiler that's oil or gas, you need this setting. And it's very simple to do. Make sure you do that. Make sure you remove the jumper. Put the W to the W, R to the R, and same thing as I, I talked about at the panel, and you're off the hook. And then there's my hydronic fin tube, so water is running through it. Okay, this is something in the basement, and, and it's wired all the way back to the panel, and that's the boiler. This is an oil boiler. Don't worry about the water, I was draining it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, off you go. And the pump's running. There was an airlock uh, in the pump. I had to drain the, the line a little bit. Uh, sometimes that does happen. Uh, but when it does, you just have to drain it. Um, all right, hope this helps. Bye.